You can find this figure and more at toydojo.com. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be reviewing this. This is New Age Legendary Heroes Michael. Uh, this is number 53 in their series of figures. And he's basically a legend scale Omega Supreme. And here he is in package. Very large box, probably the largest box New Age has made so far. And um, I like the style of the box art here. I think it is a throwback to the original uh, Omega Supreme, well, before Hasbro imported it, it into the Transformers line. And, um, but yeah, very cool. Here's the top of the box. And on the side, if I can get it on frame, it says here, Defense Base Michael, and the back of the box. Okay, let's get Michael out of the box. Here is New Age Michael out of the box. He comes with his instruction sheet, which is uh, this pretty large poster with very small illustrations, but for the most part, very clear and easy to follow. He comes with a screwdriver and an extra screw, which is pretty cool because uh, you will need a screwdriver to install the battery for this. It is a 27A battery, uh, which I got here. Um, special thanks to Inutabi. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Uh, in our little chat, he posted a link to where I could find these batteries on Amazon. So by the time this thing arrived, I already had a battery ready to go. And he comes with Michael himself. I'm just going to refer to him as Omega. Um, already in robot mode. So pretty much just like this out of the package which is pretty cool. It is pretty heavy and hefty. Um, I guess probably about a month or so ago, I did review the Pangu Toys Omega Supreme, and this definitely has a bit more heft to that. And speaking of Pangu Omega Supreme, here he is on the right. I weighed both of these figures. Uh, Pangu is roughly about 23 ounces, while... Uh, New Age is around 32, so definitely a lot more heft. And you can see uh, New Age is taller than the Pangu Toys uh, Omega Supreme. So I think one of my uh, negatives for Pangu Toys was the height in comparison to other uh, Legends figures. And I think uh, the New Age Michael really has the height that I prefer. And since I have both of them out, we can kind of compare the two. Uh, Pangu actually has some pretty nice paint apps here. Um, I'm, the the wings, they're, I wish they had them fold in three, like um, DX9 Gabriel, which this is pretty much a uh, shrunk down version of, because uh, the wings on Omega Supreme here for, from New Age looks a lot more cartoon accurate than Pangu. Now, the price difference is very big between those two, so not that... Pangu is bad um, for the price, I think it's really good. I just think if you're going to look at the two Omega Supremes side by side, for me personally, I prefer the New Age one. Right, let's take a closer look at New Age Michael here. Um, if I can get rid of that glare, I'm going to bend his knees so we can kind of see the face a little bit better without the glare. Right. There you go. So here is the head sculpt, the visor here can lift up. Ah, there we go, can get rid of the glare that way. The eyes have a nice metallic to them, metallic blue. Love the ratchets, this thing, super strong. Nice clean front with some sculpted detail. The side profile looks just right. Um, the back, no paint apps. The only thing Pangu had was some paint apps here on the back, but uh, New Age doesn't have any on this piece. But I think the tracks look spot on, uh, a lot better than the Pangu design. Going to the legs, you can see some paint apps down here and here. See, it's a lot bigger, uh, the yellow part here compared to the Pangu and the bottom of the feet. This part is actually rubber. So it does 
um, not slide uh, when you put it on a shiny surface. And on the side, very nice detail here. Now this side profile is not as cartoon accurate as I'd like it to be because of what the part it becomes in the shuttle, um, not the shuttle, the rocket, when you compare it to Pangu. And taking a look at the bottom here. Now this part slightly bothers me, so I'm just gonna remove this here. So this is the, I guess the shin covers. You can see how in this transformation process it opens up like so. Um, this, it's, it's not symmetrical. Like you can see it, this part opens up a little bit more. So you have this little gap. I'm kind of curious if I could disassemble this and swap the two. Probably not. Yeah, this part, I, I, I wish it didn't come out so much or at least if it was symmetrical where um, the little hole is on this side as well. So that's just one a little negative. Let's put this back. But other than that, the robot mode looks really good. I like it a lot. Um, pretty spot on for a G1 Omega Supreme. Moving on to articulation, the head can rotate 360. It can look up and it can look down, uh, down just a little bit, tilt down. A lot of articulation for the head, very cool. Of course, we have the little cannon here on the back that you can pivot up and down. The arm can rotate 360, gotta move it out of the way to clear the wing though. You can lift up at the shoulder this much, so not as high as I would like it to be. You can rotate at the bicep 360. You can bend at the elbow at two points. And you can see here some little uh, mechanical work to get that bend. The claw has two points of articulation, basically here and here. No wrist rotation at all, not that it's really needed. You can rotate at the waist 360. He does have an ab crunch. You can do the splits. He can lift his leg this high. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a drop down here. So it can come all the way down and up like so. He can rotate at the thigh back and forth this much. He can bend at the knee at two points. He does have ankle tilt and his toe can go up and down. Very well articulated Omega Supreme. And I gotta say, I really love the ratchets on this figure. That's one thing Pangu was lacking is ratchets. Um, so far the, the joints are still tight, but I can see over time it may need to be tightened up again. For some size comparisons in robot mode, here is New Age Omega Supreme next to New Age Bumblebee, New Age Optimus Prime, New Age Jetfire, and New Age Devastator. Now this is the scale that I prefer for Omega Supreme in relation to Devastator. And uh, just move Omega here on the side and let's bring Pangu so we can see how they me measure up together. Now Pangu's Omega Supreme is a, a little bit taller than uh, New Age Devastator, but New Age Omega Supreme's height is what I personally prefer. Okay, let's get New Age Omega Supreme transformed into his rocket base mode.
Here is New Age Omega Supreme in his rocket base mode. And as you can see, it barely fits in my light box here. I gotta say, transformation was very satisfying. Now, it does have a bit more parts forming than the Pangu version of Omega Supreme. But to me, it's more like a good throwback to the original. And I think the results are worth it. Um, the base looks really nice. Very clean uh, look. And the best part is... The tracks work. I know this is a really silly gimmick for an adult, but man, this just brings back so much memories as I had the original Omega Supreme. Uh, man, if they could only make this uh, guy walk in robot mode, that would be awesome. And it would be nice if they had some lights in the tank turret, um, kind of like the original, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just happy that it actually goes around the track uh, let me turn it off here um so yeah it, it basically goes around this little track line in the center uh you have these guide rods or something if you want to call them and over here is the motorized part and the screw driver that they give you basically makes it easier for you to uh, take out the uh, install the battery so i'm just going to open it up in here where the battery goes a little tight use a screw to pop that out screwdriver to pop it up and you can see the tiny little battery in uh, the front of the tank that powers the motor uh, this is the button for the mo for the motor here so if you press it it will go and then of course if you wanted to roll off the track you you can uh, push the guide rods down, but very cool gimmick. Simple yet uh, very nostalgic. I'm assuming these screws down here are to service the motor, if it is at all serviceable. But uh, yeah, okay. Let's take a closer look at the tank. So the the main battle tank here, very nicely done, with the exception of this part. You have this unsightly gap here which is kind of weird for new age would have been cool if they uh filled that in um but yeah it's a little unsightly uh, probably the biggest negative of this tank but uh for the most part the motorized feature for me makes up for it by a lot the turret turns 360 but unfortunately the barrel doesn't go up and down which is odd because it could if they just opened up this little area, like if they cut this part out, there should be enough clearance for it to go up and down. A little odd choice there. But uh, that is pretty much it for the tank. Let's take a look at the rocket. Uh, pretty much what you expect. Unfortunately, no paint apps around the rocket for any detailing. Um, Pangu had some paint apps here to kind of break up the gray. Would have been nice if there were some paint apps on him. And that's just one thing I'm noticing about this figure is the, the lack of paint apps actually. Um, a little bit odd for new age, but uh, yeah. Put the rocket aside and I'm just gonna take the camera so we can look at the base uh, up close. So here is the rocket base. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in robot mode is this panel can come up to reveal some rockets. You have a little helipad inside there and pretty much that is it for the rocket base. Really not much to uh, uh, do to get it right. Um, basically you have this track and little area for the rocket to go in, but very nice detailing. You do have the helipad is oddly enough painted, which is neat. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it uh, for New Age Omega Supreme's rocket base. And for a quick size comparison, here is New Age Omega Supreme in his rocket base mode with various New Age bots. Hey, right, let's get New Age Omega Supreme back to robot mode for my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on New Age Michael, AKA Legend Scale Omega Supreme. I gotta say, it is the best Legend Scale Omega Supreme on the market. Now, I did like the Pangu Toys uh, version of Omega. Um, I think it still is a great deal for the price. But uh, the New Age version just has 
much heftier feel, better build quality. You have the ratcheted joints, much better articulation. Um, I like to look at the wings a lot better. And you have uh, the, the gimmick of that it can uh, drive around the track, which is really cool. Now it does lack, like, uh, there's no lights here. So uh, unlike the Pango toys or the sounds, but you know, I, I, I'd rather have the going around the track gimmick than that. Uh, a couple of negatives and honestly very minor for me. It seems to be lacking in paint apps. I, I kind of expected a bit more for New Age when it comes to uh, paint apps. Um, but for the most part, it, it, it represents the character very well. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching.